Hello, I'm Jean Tung and I'm one of the pediatric GI physicians here at the Mayo Clinic. Today I'd like to re discuss a recent publication in the Journal of Pediatrics which used the Improve Care Now Registry to look at the anti-TNF agents, that's Remicade and Humira, in pediatric Crohn's disease. First, let me explain the Improve Care Now Registry. This registry was started in 2007 with the idea of improving care that we deliver in pediatric GI centers to our IBD patients. Here at the Mayo Clinic, we joined this in 2011, and there are now over 60 participating centers across the U.S. and England. When IBD patients come to our office, information about them is recorded and entered into the central database. This includes information such as your type of IBD, the medications you're taking, your blood work, height, weight, and your Crohn's activity score. Other information can also include your last colonoscopy, your CAT scan or MRI, and the last time you came to the office. Each month, we as physicians get an update on our IBD patients, and we're alerted if them, something isn't going well. That could include patients that aren't in remission, patients that are still on steroids, or maybe the drug dose isn't quite correct because we've grown, you've grown in the meantime. So it's kind of like a report card, and it's a really good safety net for both us as physicians and our IBD patients. Since we joined, it's really helped us change how we prepare for office visits, the consultations we provide, and also helped us focus on how we teach our teenagers. By focusing on delivering of quality care, the overall remission rate across the ICN registry has dramatically increased in just a few years. On top of that, the Improve Care Now registry has also been used for research purposes, and that's what I want to go into further today. For the purposes of this study, we looked at patients in the database who had Crohn's disease, had moderate to severe activity, had started on Remicade or Humira, that's the anti-TNF agents, and were followed for at least one year in the registry. We were able to find 603 patients that met these criteria and had received anti-TNF agents. And then we compared them to other patients that were receiving azathioprine, 6 mercaptopurine or methotrexate. In effect, using this registry, mock clinical trials were created. We calculated whether patients went into remission and whether they were able to stop steroids. This was based on their Crohn's disease activity. Note, I didn't say their blood work, and I didn't mention any MRIs, CAT scans, or colonoscopies. We found that more patients taking Remicade or Humira were in remission compared to those taking azathioprine, 6 mercaptopurine, or methotrexate. To be exact, at six months, remission was achieved in 54% of patients on anti-TNF agents compared to 41%. At 12 months, remission was achieved in 67% of patients taking an anti-TNF medication compared to 56%. So what's really interesting is that these results were similar to both the clinical trials of Remicade in adults and children. This tells us several things. One, in our everyday IBD practice in pediatric IBD, anti-TNF agents are better than azathioprine or methotrexate in inducing remission. Two, Using this large database can be used to answer other questions we may have about medications. Because this information has already been collected, the study was much cheaper than conducting a clinical trial. Now, clinical trials are still very important. In this study, we didn't examine how well children were growing, nor did we include blood work to verify remission. That would be required in a clinical trial. We also didn't look at whether the tissue was actually in remission by performing a colonoscopy. That would be required in clinical trials of ulcerative colitis. If you're interested in finding out more about Improved Care Now, look at our links below. They have a website, Facebook account, as well as Twitter accounts. Thanks for listening today.